Good morning, Year 6, and happy Tuesday. So this is what we've got for you today. And here is your morning challenge. So take 15 minutes to read the challenge thoroughly and then have a go at answering it and completing it in your book. And here are today's reading questions. Remember that the text Wolf Brother can be found as a separate PDF on the Red Brick Hayes website under the Year 6 Home Learning page. TT Rockstar time! Log on to TT Rockstars and spend 20 minutes playing the games. If you're unable to log on to TT Rockstars for whatever reason, there are some questions on the next page that you can have a go at and use a calculator to check. Today's math lesson is on Khan Academy. If you have not yet signed up to Khan Academy, you need to go back to the video from the 8th of June and the instructions are there on how to sign up for free and you don't even need an email address to do it. If you have signed up, log on to Khan Academy and enjoy today's lessons. Okay guys, time to test yourselves on yesterday's spellings. Can you spell the word thorough? Can you spell the word monarch? And can you spell the word sympathetic? Let me show you the answers now. So there is thorough, monarch and sympathetic, all really tricky words um, yesterday. So well done if you got those right. And today your words are originally, percussion and course. So take 15 minutes to have a practice of those in any way you'd like, and then ask somebody at home to test you on them. Good luck. Okay, so before we begin today's English, I'd like you to go to this link here and watch the video clip. Okay, so in this video, we see Macbeth return to the witches, or the weird sisters, for some advice. Now, in the original play, the witches are making a potion in their cauldron. And they say these lines, you may have heard of them. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn and cauldron bubble. Fill it of a fenny snake in the cauldron, boil and bake. Eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adds his fork and blind worm sting, lizard's leg and owlet's wing. For a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble. Now, what I'd like you to do is look at these four lines in bold and look at these lines in the middle that are in regular font. Can you spot a difference between the lines in bold and the other lines? Pause the video, then come back to the answers. So, it's all to do with rhythm. Think about the syllables of each line. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn and cauldron, bubble. Each of these lines have got eight syllables, whereas the regular lines fill it of a fenny snake in the cauldron, boil and bake. They've each got seven, so it changes the rhythm. We know that these parts, because of the change of rhythm, are the ingredients. Whereas these parts are the speech, the dialogue from the witches. What I'd like you to do now is write your own spell recipe using syllables, seven syllables per line. If you want to start it and end it with the eight syllable bits from the original Macbeth, please do so. But can you make a long list of ingredients that witches might put in their cauldron that are only seven syllables per line? Give yourself 20 minutes on this and see how long you can make them. Okay, so now we look at the rest of the language. So, most of Shakespeare's plays are written with a certain number of syllables per line. Have a little look at this extract. Can you work out how many syllables there are per line? Pause the video, clap out the syllables if you need, and see if they're all equal. What number do they all equal together? Okay, so each syllable has got, uh, sorry, each line has got 10 syllables per line. 
This is called blank verse, or more commonly, iambic pentameter, when um, poems or verses or speech or any kind of text is written with turned syllables. Okay, my lovelies, now what I would like you to do is take this scene where Macbeth, who is here, ooh, who is here, is returning to the heath, he's got a little servant over here, um, where the witches are who are stood here, just outside Dunsinane Castle. And I'd like you to describe this scene using iambic pentameter. So I've done a little example over here. A lightning flash three witches cast dark spells. A smoking campfire horses rear and neigh. So try and describe the scene as best you can using iambic pentameter and then perform it for somebody at home. Enjoy and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye, your six.